Hi everyone, my name is Rio Man. I'm a chef and owner of Reef Japanese Kushiyaki. This is a quiet taste. Happy? Bloody hell. All right, why, why am I tasting? Ooh. Oh, man, I'm not going to say anything, but what is this? Cheese wonton? Oh, just cream cheese. But you know what? I can do better than this. Boom. So here, I'm going to show you guys the slightly better version or upgrade. I don't know. So we're going to do a chicken and prawn uh, wonton, my version. So very easy. No drama. Just dunk everything in. So we're going to mix the mix together. Why? Um, what is that? We put chicken and prawn. As you know, um, chicken, when you cook, you boil, or whatsoever it is, it tends to get a bit dry. So we put prawn to give a bit of moist in it, uh, sweetness in it, and the whole shebang. We're gonna just throw all the garnish in. Easy, right? I feel like a um, home chef. Is my Botox okay? I think so. Oh, I need to put some. Last but not least, the oyster sauce. As you can see, I don't put so much of soya sauce, light soya sauce, all that stuff because I think the oyster sauce is good enough so here we have our version of wonton shit uh, just uh, put a bit of scoop in it I think this process is much more easier so you don't need to have uh, oil fryer just a pot of water boil and you can do this with your family you know it can be fried it can be boiled it's up to you it's individual but for me I prefer my wonton for this version to be boiled and plus you know the moment that I had this morning my wonton cheese oh my god stuck all the mouth with oil so no way and you just fold the wonton yeah you can do whatever shape you want for here I'm just gonna do very simple triangle form uh, put a little bit of water just to make sure that the wonton stick to each other I don't like to make things so complicated for you guys at home you know so why would I do something that oh man that stuff so this is like you know everybody can do have fun at home with the kids so we're gonna boil it up so here we have yeah boiling pot very easy so just need about maybe uh, two three minutes so here again we have the uh, shallot confit the chili paste it looks spicy but it's not as you can see now the wonton is is up in the surface it shows that it's cooked so yeah so we're done with the uh, my version of wonton just give it a bit of flavor a little bit on uh, on the wonton then we're gonna dunk in the sauce a little bit here and there you can always put on the side if you want to so a bit of edamame since a little bit of Japanese crispy garlic chips it looks sexy now compared to my cream cheese wonton thanks guys so a little bit of crunch a little bit of soft a little bit of sweetness a little bit of nuttiness you got the whole compact stuff quiet taste this is my version of wonton all right dig in